Hey guys, today I would like to introduce to you the all new 2014 Mercedes Benz SL550 Roadster. With iridium silver exterior color, the SL550, also known as the S Class of Sporty Car, is offered a unique combination of attributes that distinguish it from other $100,000 and up two door cars. And today, I would like to give a big thanks to Mercedes-Benz of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, located on 10949 Airline Highway, for letting me come out to film the car. The SL550 was giving a facelift for the year 2013, which was introduced back in late 2012. It is more capable and offer a more intense driving experience and nearly 300 pounds lighter than its predecessor. The sophisticated body structure of the 2014 SL is crafted almost entirely from die cast, till cast, hydroform and extruded aluminum. With 20% greater rigidity, it tips the scale in favor of greater safety, comfort and most of all athletic performance. The latest SL class brings a new look that worked in its way back gradually to the glory days of Mercedes-Benz two-seaters. The exuberantly wide, brass new SL look crisper and more masculine. It's emphatic from the front, charming with the top down, a bit of mismatch from the rear where the slim rear end and tail lamp seem to come from another car, another studio entirely. Race inspired SL550 fender, side view mirrors with integrated LED turn signal light, 19 inch AMG 5 spoke wheels with perforated front brakes with 4 piston calibers. The 19-inch AMG wheels of the Sport Wheel Package also added the upgraded brake hardware that includes larger front disc, perforated rear disc, and Mercedes-Benz lettering on the front and the rear calipers. In the back, you can see the integrated LED tail light, LED brake light, and LED turn signal light with built-in parking sensor on the bumper at the bottom is a chrome tip diffuser. The exhaust pipe valve opens up when you're in sport mode for a better aggressive sound. Brake light is also integrated into the trunk. Alright, let's start it up. With the key in your pocket, press the button on the door handle once to lock. After a few seconds, place your hand on the handle to open.
supercharged 4.7 liter V8 takes over the old normally aspirated base V8 and its snappy, responsive, torqueaholic engine rated at 429 horsepower and 516 pound feet of torque. It's faster to 60 miles per hour by almost a second over the OSL 550, hitting the 60 miles per hour mark in just 4.5 seconds. While the combination of downsize engine, 7-speed automatic, and start-stop system managed to earn 20 miles per gallon combined EPA fuel economy rating. Top speed for US is electronically limited to 130 miles per hour. Frameless door. All two windows are fully automatic. Three position memory seating. Harman Kardon system. Trunk opener. The interior features full crystal gray leather and wood trim. Mercedes Benz illuminated door seal. Perforated seat. The headrest can go up or down via the button on the door. Both headrests feature air scarfed, which is a vent beneath each head restraint deliver warm airflow to your neck, head, and shoulders, like a virtual scarf, with individual three-stage temperature control and airflow automatically adjust to your driving speed. Air scarf means you don't have to put the top up just because the sun or thermometer has gone down. The three-spoke design steering wheel is wrapped in leather, features three sections wood trim. In the middle is the unique design silver accenting with multi-function side-by-side. Air vent, light control, the dashboard are also wrapped in leather, the four air vents are chrome tip with four point star and they anchor the dash. The interior is very classy, elegant and luxurious. The center console features wood trim which gives it a really nice touch. The seat can tilt and slide forward via the button on top of the seat to get access to the back. The back storage with a cup holder. Harman Kardon sound system. To put the seat back to its original position, all you have to do is push the button again. The two four-point star air vent separated by a large multimedia screen. Here is the center dash multi-function control. Dual climate control for both driver and passenger. Center console cup holder. You can control the car via the center gearbox, up for reverse, down for drive, slightly up for neutral. 
Park Sport Eco Mode or Manual Sport Mode or Comfort Mode for the suspension and Eco Mode The round knob located next to the gearbox is the controller to the multimedia screen. You can turn the knob to navigate through screen or press to select. Here is your retractable hardtop power control as well as windows control. Cigarette lighter. Center storage compartment with media interface cable as well as auxiliary output, USB plug, and a 12 volt power outlet. Vanity light with a card holder. light emergency roadside service assistant you can transform your SL from closed cooped to open roaster in about 16 seconds, the quickest hot top in its class and perhaps the entire industry. With a single button on the console, the top folds into the trunk. The rear window pivots 180 degrees as the hot top lower to help reserve cargo space with the top stow. Power wind blocker, You have a lot of trunk space for this particular car once the top is up. One touch button close. The interior have great rooms and fine fittings. The seats are wide enough to fit variety of body types and can also be fitted snugly. The heated and ventilated seats figure 16-way power seat adjustment, the most useful of which may be the seat extender. There's more shoulder and elbow room, active multi-contour seat with massage features for both driver and passenger. The leather seat upholstery is made with sun reflecting material. bottom and back too, right? Yeah. On passenger seat too? Yeah. And this 
this V8 movement. 4.6 liter. Like you're talking to a seven years old, you know? That's uh, back to my that was zero to sixty or zero to seventy right there. Oh, you got uh, it. Uh, it's trying control, to, par it's trying to the parallel break, right? park. Yeah, well, it's trying to parallel park. Mm -hmm. I can get somewhere to parallel park if you want to see that. Let's see. Turn around. Do it the other way. I gotta trick it. You know, into thinking there's a spot. This car rides so smooth though. This thing, my searching link. Every every one of my back man. <laughs> Scanning to the right. Still not finding a spot. Maybe because all this car is parking that way. Alright, yeah, it says it's a uh, put it in reverse. Okay. Alright, but you gotta control the brake and the gas. No, no gas, just the brake. Just brake. Done. That's it. Quick. Yeah. And then Very also quick. get out. Let's see. Drive by themselves too. 